Hello everyone, welcome to this series on quick revision concepts and tricks. Today we will be discussing one of the most important topics which would be useful for you for solving any inequalities. We will be observing these inequalities in topics like functions, calculus, solving equations and so on and so forth. So this method called wavy curve method will be useful for you to tackle all these kind of problems. So let's get started with this. Trust me guys, if you watch this video, in the next few minutes, you can solve any inequation question. This is usually a problematic question for many of the students. So I'll try to make it as easy as possible. I'll first try to explain you the logic. Then I will try to, then we'll try to solve few questions. And we will also give you few homework questions in the telegram group. Now let's take a question guys. I will say x minus 1 into x minus 3 into x plus 7 should be greater than 0. Then for what all interval x belongs to? This is a simple type of question which is asked. Now firstly what is an inequality? An inequality is nothing but an inequality is nothing but whenever you have greater than, whenever you have less than, whenever you have greater than or equal to, whenever you have less than or equal to. So whenever you get these kind of inequations, what we need to do is we need to first plot their zeros at number line. What do you mean by zeros? At what point this is becoming zero? At what point it is becoming zero? At what point it is becoming zero? We need to plot. Let's check everybody. This is x minus one. So one I can plot somewhere here. This is x minus three, right? So three will be somewhere here. x plus one, x plus seven equals to zero. So minus seven will be somewhere here. Now you have three terms x minus 1 x minus 3 x plus 7 right now let me derive it for you so this is the number line so this will be minus infinity this will be plus infinity first things first what you need to do is we will now check for each case so i will derive wavy curve for you indirectly x minus 1 i am writing x minus 3 i am writing x plus 7 i am writing Okay, so these are all the zeros which we plotted, right? The 3, 1, minus 7, we have plotted on a simple number line. Now tell me guys, when it is greater than 3, to the right of 3, we will start from the right hand side, to the right of 3, what will be the signs from 3 to infinity? You take 4, 4 minus 1, positive sign only you will get. 4 minus 3, positive sign only you will get. 4 plus 7, positive sign you will get. So any value greater than 3, all are positive. Correct? Now, between 1 and 3, so if you substitute 2, correct? 2 minus 1, it is positive. 2 minus 3, it is negative. 2 plus 7, it is again positive. Now check here from minus 7 to 1. You take minus 6, minus 6, minus 1, negative, minus 6, minus 3, negative, minus 6 plus 7, positive. Minus infinity to minus 7, they are saying. So let's check again. You take minus 8, minus 8, minus 1, negative, minus 8, minus 3, negative, minus 8, minus 7, negative. Now what are you observing? First term is multiplied with second term, multiplied with third term. So what will you get here? Plus into plus into plus. So eventually you are getting a positive sign. This is plus into plus into minus. We are getting a negative sign. Minus into minus into plus. So we are getting a positive sign. Minus into minus into minus. So we are getting a negative sign. 
So what it means is wavy curve, which is nothing but this is called as a wavy curve because if you start off with the greatest value on the number line to the right, it will always be positive. From there on, it will be negative, positive, negative, positive. Alternate positive negative signs or it is in the form of a wave. Hence, this is called as wavy curve method. Now guys, tell me simply, now we need greater than zero. That means what only the positive cases is required for me. It's only greater than, it's not greater than equal to. So it's only greater than. So how will we solve this? So since we only want greater than, we have to take this portion and this portion. What is this portion now? This portion I can write it as, I can call it as minus 7 to 1. Are these both included? They are not because it's only greater than. So I am giving open brackets. Union. Now observe here 3 to infinity. Right. So this is 3 infinity. Both are open bracket only. Right. Since they gave greater than we are taking this. Now same question if they give greater than equal to. What will happen? My open bracket becomes closed bracket. Infinity can never be close bracket, right? Because it can't take infinity. This is called wavy curve method. Right? So start off from your right to the right hand side. It will always be positive. Then it will be negative. Then it will be positive. So it will be in the form of a wave. Right? That is why it is called as a wavy curve method. If they give greater than or equal to whatever are the positive, with a union sign. Why union? Because either you can take this or you can take this. That is why you give a union. So union means or. Intersection means and. Very simple. Also called as wavy curve method. So this is the type 1 of wavy curve method. The type 1 of wavy curve method. Let's take another example and solve. A simple example again. x minus 2 into x minus 3 into x plus 6 into x greater than or less than equal to 0. Let's take. Less than equal to 0. Now again wavy curve means first I have to plot the zeros. So what is this? If this is equal to 0, I'll get 0 basically. This value is what? 3 basically. This value is what? 2 basically. This value is what? Minus 6 basically somewhere here. Now what will happen guys? Now I need not do anything here. Right? I need not do anything. I can just start off with here. Then here. Then here. Then here. Then here. And so on. Now tell me what will happen. This part is positive. This part is negative. This part is positive, this is negative, this is again positive. So again the wavy. So what do we need here? We need less than or equal to 0, right? So what will happen here? What I can do is, I just need the negative portion as they want less than 0. And it is also equal to, right? So how can I write this now? I can call this as x belongs to minus 6 included, 0 included, union 2 included, 3 included. That is my answer. It's simple wavy curve. Now third question, what we will do is, what if you have something like x minus 1, x minus 3, x plus 8, whole divided by x into x minus 2. If this is greater than or equal to, greater than 0, let's take. How will you solve this method? Right? Or let's take greater than or equal to 0. How will you solve these type of questions? First, same. Draw on a number line. Mark all the zeros here. So this part is 0. This part is 2. 
this part is 1, this part is 3, this part is minus 8, somewhere here. Correct? Now, how should I start, please? What I need to do is after this, after this, don't draw wavy curve. There's one additional step here. Check for denominator zeros. Denominator can never be zero, right? You know, basic rule of domain and range, denominator can never be zero. Denominator can never be zero. So that means what? So you there is a word of caution here. That means what at x equals to zero, it's not possible the function. So I'm marking this, I'm giving it open, right? It can't be a closed bracket. It should be an open bracket because zero is not possible. What about two? Two also it's not possible. Correct? So since we have this now, now draw the wavy curve. It's like this, 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 it's like this. Now this is this is how my wavy curve looks like. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Now what is he asking us? They are asking us greater than or equal to zero. So what we need to do is we need to take this portion, this portion and this portion. So this is like minus infinity to infinity, right? So what will be my final answer now? X belongs to minus 8 is included. 0 should ideally be included but here it's not because the denominator shouldn't be 0. So I am taking it as 0 not included union so this is what minus 8 i wrote it as infinity this minus 8 comma 0 so this part i've written union only the positive parts i want right one is it included yes it is definitely included but two is it included two is not included i've written that word of question so this will be an open bracket this will be included right union now three it should it can be included and infinity obviously shouldn't be. So this will give my final answer of the wavy curve method. Now in these three questions, we are observing that the powers are all 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. What if the powers are different? How would we do those type of questions? Let's check that. So I will be solving your fourth set now, fourth question, which is powers are different, right? So I will take x cube, x minus 2 whole power 4, x minus 4 whole cube, whole divided by x minus 1 whole square, x plus 3 whole power 4, whole power 6. This should be less than or equal to 0. Let's take that. Okay. Now comes the tricky part, tricky question. So first, draw the number line, guys. Same process. So what will be this? If this is 0, so it should be 0. This should be 1. This should be 2. This should be 4. This should be minus 3. So all the zeros I have drawn guys. Now first step, I told you wavy curve, always, always to the right of the greatest value, it will be positive. That won't change guys. That rule is not changing. Now just remember one thing in mind. So we are starting with this. We are starting with 4. Where is that 4? Here is that 4. Now observe the power. What is the power here? Odd. If the power is odd, for that respective 0, then change the sign. So whatever is the previous sign, next sign you have to take. If it is even, the sign won't change, so it will be same. Now observe, it's starting with 4. For 4, you are observing odd power. Odd power means what? I am changing the sign to negative. So first part is done. Next part is what? You have to take the 2 part. Where is that 2 part? The two part has an even power. If it is even, what does it mean? It will still be the same. So previously it was negative. It will still be negative. 
Now observe, we are coming to the one part. One part is there in the denominator. There is a word of caution as well. Denominator, whenever you are taking this one cannot be zero, right? So I am marking that one. I am careful with that. Also, it is even power. Even means what? It will still be negative. Sign won't change. Whatever is there previously, that will be there. Suppose if plus was there previously, it would have still been plus. Now next, zero part. Zero part is here, right? What is that? Odd power. Now tell me guys, what will happen? As it is an odd power, it will change. If it is odd, you are changing. So it becomes positive. Now finally, minus three part is this. Word of caution, minus three you shouldn't get. And it's still an even power. Even power means what? Previously, now look, it became positive. So this will also be positive. It's minus infinity, this is plus infinity. Now, word of question is here at these two points. Now, tell me guys, we need less than or equal to zero. So, less than or equal to means you need the negative portion, right? So, negative portion means what? This portion, this portion, this portion, with one as an exception, correct? So, what can I do now? Can I write this as... Can I write this as x belongs to 0? Is it included? Yes, it is included. 1? Is it included? Not included. Union. What is this? Again, 1 included, not included. 2 included, it is included. Correct. Union. 2 is it included? Included. 4 is it included? Included. That will give me my answer. So in this way, any inequation can be solved by wavy curve method. So if the exponents are different, it is. You need to check for each exponent. Suppose if that particular term, it is an odd power, you have to change. If it is an even power, it will remain the same. So let's do one final simple sum and then we'll wrap up the session. So fifth question. What if you have x minus 1 whole cube, x minus 3 whole square, x power 4, uh, x power 5 whole divided by x plus 2 whole power 4, x minus uh, 8 whole power 7. Uh, now I will take it as previously it was less than or equal to, now I will take greater than 0 only, only greater than I will take. What will happen now? Draw the number line. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 3, this is 8. What else is given? Uh, 1 I have taken, 3 I have taken, 0 I have taken, 8 I have taken, minus 2. Now observe guys. Starting as usual, wavy curve, 8 to the right, definitely positive, doesn't matter. Now you have to check. We will start with 8. What is the power? Odd power again. Odd power means what? This will change. It was positive, it became negative. So first part I have taken. Next I have to take 3. Where is 3? 3 is here. It is even power. Even power means what? It will remain the same. Next I have to take 1. And again 8 word of caution, right? Because it is in the denominator. It can't be 0. So word of caution here. Now, next I am taking it as 1. 1 is there here. Odd. Odd means what? Negative becomes positive. It will change. Next I am taking what? 0. 0 is what? Numerator. Numerator 0, but it is an odd power again. Again it will change. It will become negative. Now I am taking finally minus 2. Minus 2 is here. Power is what? 4. Even. Even means what? It will still remain the same. Minus infinity. This is like plus infinity. Now tell me guys what will happen here. You need what greater than only. Correct. Again exception. This was also an exception. right? Greater than means only positive. So either this or this. So x will belong to for this question. The answer will be x belongs to 0 is included not included because it is only greater than 0 to 1 I can take. Union, what about this? 8 to infinity. 
simple yes so this is nothing but your wavy curve method in detail you can solve many questions on the basis of this so i would like you to discuss these questions let's have a discussion in this in the telegram group thanks a lot everyone hope you are enjoying these sessions i will see you soon with the next session